What's going on everybody, David here. I wanna show you uh, quickly in Lightroom. If you're just starting out and you're a beginner using Lightroom, you might wanna use the auto features just to kinda of get you in the ballpark, get you in the right place. And what I mean by that is you have auto exposure. So uh, if I'm looking at my, on the, the right here, the first thing you have is your white balance and then you have this area called tone. Now, I do this myself and I know how I like it, so it's easy for me to do this uh, and use use these sliders as as opposed to just hitting auto. If you're just starting out and you're a beginner, you want to probably use auto just to kind of see how to gauge what the right exposure is. And so let me just show you that. Now, if I click on now, if I've you if I've shot this with a raw you know raw footage raw image, I'll get the most out of the the most quality out of the image. If I click auto here. It's gonna go ahead and set it up for me the way that it thinks it should be as far as exposure. And you see exposure, the contrast, contrast didn't change at all. Highlights changed a little bit. Shadows were opened up a little bit. The whites were increased a little bit and the blacks were uh, decreased a little bit. So that just shows me in the tone section. Now me, myself, I do it a little differently. I'll just do the sliders on my own. But if you're a beginner, you're just starting out, don't be afraid to hit the auto. Hit the auto and see what it looks like. You can always hit the reset button right here and it will take it right back to where you were. Uh, but uh, don't be afraid to hit the auto every once in a while just to see what it does. Uh, same thing with uh, white balance. You might think, oh, it's a good white balance. Hit the auto, see what it does. Does it change it a little bit? Yeah, it makes it a little warmer. So when you're starting out, that's what you wanna do. You wanna, you wanna use those, utilize Utilize Lightroom and let it see if it can kind of correct some of this stuff. And then when, you, when you're a little more advanced and you're gonna know, just looking at the picture, you're gonna know how to move the sliders and know where to go with the sliders. But take note, hit the auto, look at what it does and say, okay, well, you know what? In this situation, it moves the exposure up by 0.5. And then it moved this over, moved that over. So it just it just helps you out. It gives it points you in the right direction, and uh, that's a that's a, a a huge tip. Don't be afraid to hit the auto button. I know when you're being taught how to take pictures and all that, never use auto and all that good stuff. It's true you want to try to get away from auto, but you do in certain situations when you're editing. There's no loss here. You're not losing anything by hitting the auto button and seeing what it does. And if you like it, go with it. If you don't like it, then change things and tweak it. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.